why you should know about this research if you care about thinking clearly with ADHD. We're gonna talk about what even are astrocytes and how they contribute to brain fog, as well as impulsivity and all the other symptoms that we experience with ADHD. So what even is an astrocyte? Astrocytes are another type of cell in your brain. You may or may not have heard of neurons. Neurons are the cells that relay information across our brain and all of our body, and they release things called neurotransmitters, which are little signaling molecules that talk between the neurons and communicate information. Now, astrocytes are a different type of cell. They're part of a cell type called glia, which make up a part of our body that is referred to as glymphatic system. All this basically means is that they are support cells of your brain. They support the neurons to make sure that the communication goes smoothly. In ADHD people, these cells don't function the same way. And they're not just involved in helping neurons communicate. They're also involved in helping make sure they have enough energy around. They're like janitors. They remove the debris and the gunk at the end of the day while we're sleeping. And they're even involved in supporting the passing along of that message between neurons. Astrocytes sit and they look like little stars in between the place that's called the synapse. This is a place where the neurons communicate information across a gap. One neuron end of it is called the axon. The other receiving end of the second neuron is called a dendrite. And the little dots in the middle are referencing a neurotransmitter like dopamine. When that little astrocyte support cell up top that looks like a star, get it, astro star site, isn't working as well, then it leads to issues with communication between our neurons. Let me know if you want another video in depth of me explaining things like this and explaining how to reduce brain fog and take care of our neurodivergent brains. Share this with your favorite ADHD science nerd.